Welcome back to Skatuni. We watched the old footage, and it turns out Phoebe actually made it through to round 3. Yeah, I'm shocked. I never thought I'd see anything like the 5 moving off from the score box. Hey look, the 5 is back. That 5 looks kinda weird. Well, regardless, now we have to say goodbye to Henry Stickman. Henry, you may have made history as the first person to guess the blinking brain box picture at the 5 point mark. Without even trying. But you didn't get anything else. Hit it, Caillou. You're out of here. Wow, we're only three episodes in and we already have more episodes where the yellow square is occupied during round three than the actual Skatuni show. Really? How many did the actual show have? Duh, let's see. Go over, carry the three, one. One? You mean Skatuni only had one episode where the yellow square was occupied during round three? Yep. And it was only in the Anak version of the episode, meaning the original UK version didn't have any. Anyways, now it's time to play round three. Caillou, tell them what it's time for. Dial. Up. Dial up? Yup. That's not a Skatuni round. It is now. Weren't we gonna play Danger Grid of Doom? Well, we were, but, there's something wrong with the grid. Really? Did the charger coding made not work? No, it worked fine. It's just that. The numbers are all missing from the grid, and it doesn't know how to respond to the calls. Hey grid! Show me number 5. Number, not detected. Next request. Wow, you think he'd have it memorized, but no. Okay. I see each of the contestants has a dial with numbers from 0 to 9, but how does this round work? So you ask the questions, and the answer will always be one of those numbers. Each player has to set the dial to the number they think is correct, and hit the buzzer to lock in their answer. Once both players have locked in their answers, the correct answer is revealed, and depending on how much higher or lower each player's answer was from the correct one, their opponent gets that many points. But since the dials are circular, do wraparounds count? Nope. If the correct answer was 0 and a player answers 9, their opponent gets 9 points. Great. Sounds like an interesting round. And just so you know, if Robert gets zapped by that purple lightning, he's probably cheating. Okay, we'll look out for it. Let's start with an easy one. What is 8 minus 4? Oh crap! Okay, both answers are locked in. Robert says 0. Phoebe says 4. Phoebe, you're correct. I knew I'd get it. Do you really think I'm as stupid as Jeffy? No fair. I forgot the rules. Okay, next question. Opposite sides of a die always add up to what number? Okay, both answers locked in. You both said 7, and you're both correct. Hey! Why didn't I get a point for getting the question right? You don't get points for correct answers in this game. Next, if a bus has 12 passengers on it and 5 get off, how many people are left? <coughs> wow, that was fast. You both said 7, but the answer was 8, so you both get 1 point. What do you mean? I did that math in my head. 12 minus 5 is 7. Yeah, how is it 8? Well after the 7 passengers, you have to add 1 for the bus driver. Ah, uh, I've heard that one before. How did I fall for it? Okay, next question. How many hearts does an octopus have? <coughs> Alright, Robert says 8, and Phoebe says 3. If you didn't realize, she said hearts, not tentacles. That's right Phoebe, and you were correct. You get 5 points next. What number gives the same answer when added to or multiplied by itself? Oh no, what's the answer? Time's up, Robert. Your answer locked in on two, which was also Phoebe's answer. And you're both correct. Wow, that's the second time this episode someone accidentally got a question right. I know, right. Next, how many seconds would it take to cook a large pizza on Venus? Well, looks like both of you didn't know the answer. Robert has 6 and Phoebe has 3. That question was kinda random. How would we? Well, the answer was 9, so you each get your answers worth and points. Wow, that was funny. Yeah, 
But where'd you get that answer from? From a book of random fun facts. Anyways, next question. How many reindeer does Santa Claus have? Okay, Phoebe says eight and Robert says nine. Robert got it right, and he gets a point. Nine? I remember always hearing that he had eight reindeer. Well, I guess you don't recall the most famous reindeer of all. Crap. How could I forget Rudolph? All right, next question. What is the past tense form of when? <coughs> All right, time's up. Phoebe says one and Robert left his dial at nine. Phoebe is correct and she gets eight points. No fair. I didn't know what the question meant. Release. The bees. Well, I guess that's the end of the round. Ouch, and I'm honored to say. Ouch. You're honored to say ouch? No, I'm honored to say that the ouch when of dial ouch up his Phoebe. Yes. Not that I ever doubted I'd win. And Robert, I'm sorry to say you played without fear, but you're out of here. Well, that's it for episode three, but stay tuned for more quizzing here on.